hold it up. I want to make sure these lens on my camera um, clean, right? Um, before I get started, I'm going to give out one to most high God, true living God, Yahweh, all right? And I want to say hello to my queens, my kings, and my brothers and sisters. This video is going to be short. I wasn't planning on doing uh, another video. But with this video, I just pretty much wanted to um, just give you some ideas of some certain things you're supposed to be seeing. Uh, whether they're considered as paranormal or, you know, um, the images that I see when I go through myself. Uh, when I talk about seeing like ETs or uh, lyrans, whatever, I just... I have two sketches that I want to show you about that as well as some pictures I have taken of myself and um, you can see what I mean as far as when I'm sensing spirits or not just spirits you know I can you know uh, come back in from sun gazing and I'll take a picture and I will see images you know in my eyes so this is what I want to show you and share with you all right um, I'm talking about my higher self those images that you're going to see they are uh, my ancestors, okay? So, with that being said, peace and love to you all, and thank you for checking your sister out, all right? Okay, family, real quick. Um, I know this is not perfect. I know it's not perfect, but this is a picture that I took outside. I just got through sun gazing, and um, I know what I see. I don't know what you're going to see. I'm gonna try to um, zoom in real good, okay? I had no when I took this picture, I was seeing an image in my eyes. Here you look real good. You can see two eyes and a nose. And it looks sort of like a melanin um, human being. All right, family, this image right here, I took about a week ago of my grandmother's house. And um, the, same per the same person you saw on the other picture is right here as well. Now this right here is my forehead, okay? Let me try to come in real good, hold up, let me see. Hold up, family. Right here, you can, let me see. Right here, you can see my eyebrows. And you can see this is my forehead, all right? This is my forehead right here. So I'm going to zoom in. Hold up, family. I know this is not all professional. I'm just trying to keep it real, all right? I have, it's basically from one phone to the next. This image right here showed up in front of me, in front of my forehead, over my grandmother's house. So I know you see what I see. You see two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. My phone trying to go to sleep. I apologize. Hold up, family. All right, family. I was trying to get more detail in it so you can see the actual face real good. So you can see, I'm showing you down here with my camera. I'm trying to bring in the features real good so you can see. Let me see if I can change the features real quick. Uh, this phone is not hitting on anything, but you can still see that face. This is a real, this is a real good one right here. All right, this is the let me see, this is the original one or what? Hold on, family, hold on. All right, family, this is pretty much. Um, I try to get a little more detail so you can see the face real good, but it's pretty much self-explanatory. Who knows? You might see maybe more than one face, but I picked up on this image when I was in downstairs of my grandmother's house. And I told many of y'all I was feeling kind of anxious and stuff, picking up on some kind of spirits in the house. And anyway, I started filming and uh, this face had popped up. All right, family. Um, one day my daughter had had my phone right and she was taking pictures. And um, I'm always getting on her about grabbing my phone. And I had noticed when I was checking my uh, pictures out, that a picture that she had taken, I saw a face right here. It had appeared like below the TV. I don't know if many of you can see it. I'm gonna to try to turn it this way. 
I know what I see. <laughs> okay, I know what I see. Let me see if I can blow this in. Good, family. Hold on. Just give me a minute. I'm sorry if my picture's not coming out real professional. Like, okay. Hold up, family. I'm gonna turn this sideways. And um, hold on. Here it is. See that? Like the nose and the uh, eyes and the mouth. You can even see the forehead, the forehead, the two eyes, and the mouth. And actually, family, this is how it looks sometimes when I'm in my room and I pick up on like ETs coming through. It can be like on the wall or even like, um, yeah, I, I'm going to say it, family, even our flat screen TVs as well, all right? So, um, you got to be mindful of that. Your TV is definitely portal. Please know that. It's all right, family, I'm in my room. This is one of the pictures of the ET that I see sometimes coming through my wall, all right? It is not a gray. It has almond-shaped eyes. Um, sometimes I see some of them coming through that look sort of like this, and then sometimes they might have like two dots. But this one right here actually have a shape of a nose. It looks more human humanoid looking and the eyes are more humanoid looking. It's just that the eyes are almond shaped. Alright. And just like I'm facing this wall right here, I can sit here and um with the activity, you know. Hold it. On my wall. Even my daughter know what, what this is and I haven't even mentioned it to her. Alien. What is it? Alien. Alien, okay. Yes, alien. So you never know, maybe yes, she's alien. singing. Okay. And this is the date I had wrote down that I um this the date that Which I had did this drawing right here. My alien. Mm-hmm. What's one? And this is another um Aspire. I see this a lot too. Now I have I don't even like mention spiders, any of this to my daughter family, but she seems to know what, what these symbols spider, mean. Please, please. What is this baby? What is this? A spider. A spider or a spiral? Spider. Spider. Okay, you're correct. And um, this is the date I had did this drawing as well. Yeah. But I've been seeing um, this kind of image. And, you know, sometimes things Check are passed down to your children. So boom. you never know. Boom, boom. Uh, my daughter boom, could boom, be boom, having boom. contact as we well. On a little spider. She's a little spider. Sometimes I would see this without the dots. And other times I would see them with the dots. Uh, but if any of you see these, they're pretty much like a, uh, another form of portal, all right? When you go within yourself, all right? Uh, you will see this as well. When you're meditating, going within yourself. Um, you might not see the dots, but you will see something like this. Um, like I said, everybody's experiences are different. All right, family, this is another picture. I'm not the best um, artist, all right? I'm doing the best I can. But uh, I will see something like this when I'm in meditation or coming through the wall. Now these images, He's they don't like necessarily like come through the wall, but they will start okay, now appearing like in the wall, like, should I say? Where you hand, Bibo? Where you hand? And of course, sometimes they have like symbols on their foreheads. All right, I call these like lyrans or cat people. All right, and I did the drawing, um, the first you know six seventeen two thousand seventeen, but uh, I I've been seeing these right here for quite some time. You know they did. Uh, a lot of them are different. Some of them got hair, and um, some of them look more masculine looking. You can um, just the kind of like this to me is more like the female version. Oh, look. The males look more masculine look and, and have more of that feline hair, so like a lion. But I think this is more of a female right here. But I would it. see them. Move your hand, boo boo. Move your hand, but I would see oh, these look. as well when I'm in meditation or um, staring at the wall, should I say? And I think. Maybe, like I said, uh, the reason I'm probably seeing the one look more like this because they're pretty much the females, and it probably also so I won't feel so intimidated as well. Cause I see the male ones when I'm in meditation, and they are very masculine and <laughs> can be very intimidating, oh, but they don't come off thing. in a negative way, you know. Yeah, uh, they, like I said, all of them pretty much be observing, and so far with any of these ETs. Um, you know, I don't hear them talking to me or anything, even telepathically, I don't hear them, you know, talking to me. I pretty much oh, have no, and if they are, I have yeah. no memory of it. When I'm in meditation, I, I have no memory 
of them talking to me. Um, a lot of them, you know, for the most part, um, like uh, sure. the ones that look like this, they pretty much communicate to me through um, symbols, all right? Showing me things. And I've already explained yeah. what I mean by that. Move your hand, boo boo. Move your hand. Okay. So, um, yeah. Lastly, family, real quick. Uh, this right here was June the 27th. Um, yeah. This right here, this round part right here is what I consider the sun. I had taken a picture of the sun, okay? And we all know the sun has definitely changed the definition of it. It's much, much brighter. Uh, but I noticed some kind of um, yellowish, goldish object in front of the sun. And this is sort of how it, was, it looked it. Now, just ignore this right here, this line right here. If you can imagine, if you can, if you can imagine this side looking like this side, that's how it looked it. And it was blocking the whole sun. And it looked at yellowish gold looking. And I don't know what that was. But it's been showing up in a lot of my pictures. And I had the pictures, but I don't have them now. I deleted them, but I did draw a picture um, that I was seeing on my phone. Like I said, I'm not the best drawer, but I do the best I can, all right? So, um, yeah, you know, I don't know what this is. A lot of people talking about simulators and all that, but I don't know what this is. But I definitely saw it in front of the sun on my pictures when I had it zoomed in. What that word? And lastly, I had taken this picture today. I was watching some kind of documentary on Netflix um, about... Um, I forgot the name of the documentary. That's, that's terrible. But anyway, it's some kind of new um, documentary about this man. He, he, he used to be abducted all the time by ETs. But anyway, I think his name was Stan. I think Stan something. But anyway, and um, that's one thing that I hate about watching, you know, um, documentaries um, about uh, ETs. Because you always start having contact when you start seeing them, you know. But anyway, if you check out this picture right here, family. When I zoomed in, I noticed on my forehead, I'm going to show you right in here, in this area, right in here where my thumb is at. I'm going to move my thumb, but look real good. What do that look like to you? Do you see big black eyes or what? I'm going to try all right, family, I'm in a darker room. Let's try this again. Look over here on my forehead, over here in this area. I know what I see. I don't know what you see, but um, it sort of stands out real shiny right in there. And just like how you're seeing these images, family, I see these images all the time appearing on the wall coming through.